What's up? What's up, everybody? Let's go play some Animal Crossing. Let's go! How are you guys doing? Desert, open your gate. I have a gift for Bam. Desert, I need you need to let me visit you. Desert, please let me visit you. Oh my god, come on! I just started to stream! I can't do all this right now. I gotta check up on my town and stuff. Maybe, maybe some other time. <laughs> I just wanted to check up on my town, do the dailies, and, uh, I guess... I don't know, see what's going on. I already kind of like checked it earlier today to do the turnip stuff. But I didn't really do much beyond just sell everything I owned for turnips. So, uh, hopefully I make back that investment because I, I'm kind of broke now. Beverly Crusher, thank you very much for the uh, 15 months sub. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Hello, Desert. How are you today? I'm good today. I I've had a pretty decent day overall. A bit more lazy than usual, but I mean, I feel like everyone lately can relate to that. I did happen to go to the grocery store, and uh, yeah, everyone there now is doing the whole masks and rubber glove thing, including myself. So, I guess people around here are finally catching on that uh, this is life now. I have a lot of mail, I think. Yep, I have a lot of mail. A lot of mail. Oh my god, you guys, I, I, listen. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to send me less mail. This is a little too much. I hope you understand. Oh my god. This is, like, only from, like, a day. Yeah, this is a bit of an overload, fellas. Hey, pal, I mean desert. Desert, I see your house got bigger again. What are you feeding it? You can feed it with this present if you wanna. Can I come over, Simon? Simon, yes, you can come over. Yeah, wow, even Vin sent me something. What? Uh, I'm gonna have to open all these at once. Dear Desert, I want to express my appreciation for all that you do for me. That's why I decided to get you this gift. From Nary? Oh. Dear Desert, you'll want this from Nary. Oh boy. Nary! You're sending me a lot of nail! A, a mail, Nary! No, it's only from N. Dear Desert, I want to express my appreciation for all you- Oh my god, this is from Norix. That's the generic one. Another generic one. Wait, I hope you like your shiny new skinned Luigi. What? Oh my god, from Vin. Pear. Why... Why... Why pear? What does this mean, Vin? Vinny, what the fuck does that mean? What am I supposed to get from that? Pear. I... Hold on, I need to look at this too. Uh... KK okay, okay, cruising. okay, grab that, I grab all the... Oh, my pockets are too full. God damn it! Oh, right, I have a million turnips. 
I need to go and put these away somewhere where I can store them safely. I also caught a zebra turkey fish this morning. I got, I got many nips. Yes, m many, many, many. Uh, at least a thousand. Probably over like 1,300 or something. Oh boy. Uh, where can I put these? I, I have a new room. Maybe I can put them in here because there's not much in here. You caught three zebra turkey fish in a row, then CJ asked you to do that. He asked me to do that too, but I don't think he cares if you do it or not. I'm assuming I can just leave these here. And they won't, like, turn into mush. Desert, what did you do to Bam? I did nothing to Bam! Bam's still here. Nothing's happened to him. Why are you guys asking me that? Bam's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him here. Uh, oh, man. So I guess, what, starting tomorrow, I can, like, start going to Timmy and Tommy's, like, store and, like, see what their prices are? So, Daisy May sold me these, uh, for 90 bells, uh, for a pack of 10. Which I read was, like, literally the best price you could ever get. So, uh, I bought as many as I could. And I, like I said, I sold all the things I could. Uh, I even, like, farmed for, like, about... I had, like, 30 minutes to farm, basically, while she was still around. I took all my money out of savings and then bought as many as possible. So here we are. Hope I get back a good investment. You have to check with friends and see if they have any price around 400 and up. Honestly, if it's, just, if it's anything over 90, I'll be okay. But I guess 400 and up is what most people look for, so I guess I'll keep my eye out for that. Uh, Vin sent me a pear bed. But... But... But why? But, but why? Is this a bit that I don't get? Okay, well, thank you for the pear bed, Vinny. I, I, it, it's, it's lovely. Uh. Is it not apparent? No, it's not apparent why he sent me a pear bed. Frog costume? What is that? Oh. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. Fox mask? Oh! Oh, that's cool! That looks great! I, I look like a yokai! <gasps> Gas mask! What?! Oh, that's sick! That's exactly what I need today. Bunny nose? Oh. I already have one of these. But thank you. Revolving spice rack. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have, uh, I have one of these at home. In my real home. Let's see, uh, and what was this one? This is a cone. Oh, right, I think... I think Diva gave me this this morning. Just ran up to me and said, Hey, you know what you need? A cone. And I'm like, no. But she's like, I insist! And then she slid the cone into my hand and ran off. It was very fucking weird. I don't know how she got out of containment again. Uh, beyond that, I don't really have much else to say that you missed when I checked all my turnips this morning. I suppose... Yeah, Isabel didn't say there was any, like, update. She said she solved a crossword puzzle, so I don't know if that's news to anyone, but she did it. So, good for her. I'm gonna register this new song now. Altex1, thank you for the 14 months! Thank you very much! I have KK cruising now. Look at the fucking cover art for this! He looks like he's gonna offer me, like, red and blue pills to take me out of this world. Notorious KK. This is a good one. I've never heard this one. I have, like, almost the whole fucking collection, I feel like. Damn, that's a nice beat. That's a fat beat. That's, that, as they, as they say. 
fuck was that? Did someone just get stabbed in the song? <laughs> Sound like a bird's getting strangled. What am I gonna look like today? I was I was wearing my uh my e-boy outfit earlier, but I'm feeling a different look right now. Let's see, what do we got? I wish there was like a randomize option or something. Thick Colus Kappa, thank you for the three months. Beat, I thought you bought turnips. I did, I bought like over a thousand turnips. I could wear a workout top. Uh, how about workout top, outdoor shirts, patch knee pants. There's so many goddamn clothes in this game. Camo pants. That's pretty good. I need shoes. I have bunny ears. Um, Bam gave me bunny ears last last night, and uh, well, I think they're great. Desi, is your able sisters built yet? Yeah, I did. I I already checked it today. Actually, that's that is one thing I did. I bought some stuff from the Able Sisters this morning. Um, gas mask. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this style. And what kind of boots? Purple boots. Purple rain boots. Paw slippers. Ugh. They got toe beans. They really should have a randomized style. I want to see what wacky combinations the game would, like, make. Try a new look. Try something new. This is the visual punk wig. Uh, who gave me this? Norix gave me this. Norix came over and gave me, like, a bunch of items sent to him for me from other people. I don't remember who all exactly gave him items, but thank you guys very much. Uh... Oh, whoops, I forgot to write. I always forget to... I always forget to... to confirm. God damn it. Hold on. I need my look back. Uh... It was this. And then what was the shoes? Purple shoes. Where are my camo pants? Camo pants. And... I wanted bunny ears, right? Where am I... I wish you could, like, organize these two... In other ways. I don't know. There's a lot of things I would, like, improve upon with this. But I feel like there's gonna be a lot of quality of life updates coming out eventually there we go remember to always press plus this is a look this is my look you can organize them in storage i don't know if it carries over though i mean at least they let you select like different parts of it oh wait i know what i want to do uh you can select like specifically hats and stuff so that's good i don't know i just would like different like means of like arranging them within their subcategories like i don't know maybe by color or something or name alphabetized do you have a wand yet i do have a wand i haven't bothered to register anything yet because i just kind of like change my style every day anyways so i'm gonna take this with me i'm gonna take this with me and i'm gonna give it to someone i know someone who would really like a workout top and i bet you can't guess who what song is this? Uh, Notorious KK. No, just kidding. It's KK cruising. I hate how the wand takes your clothes out of the wardrobe inventory. Does it? I got more mail, though. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta get all this mail out of the way before I go actually do stuff today. Uh, Happy Home Academy. Rank A! Okay. Once again, I am rank A. Not a big surprise. Eris, commence pooping. Impress bamped honey. Oh, that's from Babbot. I visited their town last night. Babbot's a good person. They're very, very chill. 
Hey, Desert, just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all at the same time. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom doll merchant. Uh, okay, nifty, right? All right. Cool, thanks. Uh, more, more mail from Nari. No more mail. Uh, uh, okay. H hipster Twitter e thought squirrel. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what that message means, but thank you. Getting a. Uh, you guys have got to chill with the mail a little bit, please. I'm going to ask that people send me maybe like one mail per day. I don't know. It's too much. I get nervous when I see my mailbox so full. Wait, am I missing one? It's still ringing. Bunny day lamp. God damn it. There's still mail. What if we sent you letters without presents? I mean, that's okay. I just don't want to be like completely overburdened with stuff in this game too. What what letter am I missing? Oh, from Nook. Oh, there's there's more. Jesus. We've completed the expansion of your lovely home. Right. A resident moved to a plot you set up. We put 1,000 Nook miles into your account. Thanks. Oh, wow. There's another one from Nary. I already have this. Okay, thanks. Uh, from Gulliver. This is for helping Gulliver the other day. And Happy Home Academy sent me a gift. Is that all my mail? Okay. Good God. Log Garden Lounge. You already know this. Cool. That's trash. Samurai wig. What? That's awesome. Yo! Boom, boom. That's like an, that's like an anti wig. That's great. BRB about to become a samurai in Edo, Japan. Just let me, um, let me just set some stuff up really quick, okay? I just gotta, like, take care of a couple things. But anyways, how has your guys' day been? What, what have you all been up to? Any, do anyone do anything interesting today? Kaijamafu, thank you very much for the 10 month sub. Thank you. Hey, Desert, tell Leonard I said hi and ask him if he's done doing taxes. Thanks, I love you, bye. Leonard is, he's snoozing right now. He ate a lot of egg today. Had a ton of egg today. I gave him like one egg and I like, you know, separated the yolk because he really likes the yolk. I've never seen him slurp up an egg so greedily before. He was so happy to drink that egg up. It was great. So he's was he was having a good day. Um, and I think he also has done his taxes. Oh, Marshall? Nary, why did you send me a poster of Marshall? This poster is probably worth like a million bells. Doesn't belong on this wall, though. I'll put it over here. Let's see. Uh, storage. Wall mounted. Yeah, he can go on, like, the other wall with other villagers I've collected. Neri has a disgusting martial worship room in his house. Wh why? Why? Neri, why are you obsessed with Marshall? That's fucking weird. That's weird, dude. Could you imagine being so obsessed with a villager that you made like a shrine in your in your house dedicated to them, like covered in like pictures of them? That'd be so fucking weird, dude. Take a look at your life. Take a look at your life. Barble. Refrigerator. I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. I'm wearing- I'm rocking the samurai wig today. Sweet hair, bro. Thank you. Yeah, that would be pretty strange. I know! I wouldn't want to hang out with them. No, sir. Not me. Not me. No way. No way. D-A-L-I mask. Oh. Eh, it's cool. Gas mask is better, though. 
Put in storage, uh... Refrigerator. Oh, I think I got this from the Happy Home Academy. Did you know if you wall mount a piece of clothing behind a wardrobe, it looks like it's inside it? I did not know that. That's kind of neat. Is that intended or is that just a visual glitch? Whoops. Whoops. I need to put my, uh, my wash tub back. Where else will I take baths? Put this in storage. I know where this can go. This can go outside. In the outside gym. Log garden lounge. That's garbage. Throwing that away. Crash! Plutsy turtle, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, guys. Okay, that's good. Put that there. Send it to me. Oh. Uh-oh. I read that too late. I'm sorry, Rever. It's gone. <laughs> it sounds like a sneeze. Desert, but the bells. I could have sold it too. You're right. What have I done? Can I get it back? Uh-oh. I've made a hasty decision. Oh, no. Did you hear about the Bitcoin cooking mama thing? I'm not sure what part of that is real. Oh, my fucking God. Nary, I swear. To Nary, stop. What about female? Stop it. Stop it. It's not from Norx. It's from Nary. It's not real. This is not a funny bet. Stop. Oh, my God. What is this? Great, thanks. Thanks, Nary. I have to put that shit away. The Bitcoin thing is fake. Yeah, I've been hearing that that was like an exaggerated like story about why it was removed from the eShop. I know about it loosely. I haven't been really following it too much. The whole thing about, like... The, the only thing that people are, like, sourcing is, like, a Discord, like, post, which... I could say right now that Shigeru Miyamoto is my dad on Discord, and... Screenshot that. That doesn't make it fucking true. Or does it? Who knows? But I find that really funny that, that that's what people are sourcing for this, like, rumor. I think it's a rights thing. I think someone probably had the wrong idea that they had the rights to the game, and then when it actually hit the eShop, the real rights holders were like, uh, what? And then they contact Nintendo to take it down. I have a feeling that's exactly what happened. Because the company that made it, that's like cited as whoever worked on it, are like really random? They're like some random company that doesn't even make video games? It's very strange, and they're in, like, Connecticut. And they have nothing to do with Cooking Mama. The IP holder is in the credits. They do make games. Oh, okay. So what's going on, then? Okay, so I have wrong info, then. Yeah, I tried to dig up the real story, and that one sounded the, the most likely. But I don't buy that they were making a... Bitcoin miner program for a Nintendo Switch. Because not only is a Nintendo Switch a terrible piece of equipment to use for that, but, like, people would probably catch on to that really fucking quick. Especially Nintendo. Maybe it was just, like, an unfinished version of the game and they just were like, oh, shit, it's not done. Who knows? So many conspiracies out there. I don't know, maybe the game was contacting aliens and they had to shut it down. Could be anything! You never know! Hi, I caught a zebra turkey fish this morning. No, there's retail copies? Well, maybe they're fucked too! Okay, zebra turkey fish. Let's see, what are some fascinating facts about the zebra turkey fish? Yeah, it's also on PS4. It also is online-only DRM, which is really strange for cooking mama of all fucking things. 
The sheer brilliance and diversity found in the aquatic underworld never ceases to amaze me. This zebra turkey fish is as stunning to gaze upon as it is deadly. These spines that are part of its defining physique are chock full of venom. Oh, these are lionfish. Why are they called a zebra turkey fish? They hunt these um on the east coast now because they're like invasive. Fortunately, zebra turkey fish are not susceptible to another's venom. Though solitary, I imagine they give one another a mean fin bump when passing each other by. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? I've never tasted them. I heard they taste good. Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Oh, the online always thing is misinfo too? Okay. Well then, what is it about this? What is, what is real about this game? What What is the truth and what is the fake what is the what is the real story here nothing nothing this game never even existed it was always it was always just nothing we made it up we, we made up the whole damn thing the game too no one has ever played this game because it doesn't actually exist everyone saying they've seen a physical copy of it are lying hi bam oh nice shades nice jacket who got you those? <laughs> Yo, Desert, feeling strong, Kablang? Lay it on me! Love the sunny weather we've been having lately, Kablang. Helps you work up a good sweat. Yeah, you like sweating, don't you? Uh, hey, do you want this? What? For me, Kablang? Yeah, for you. This workout top. I thought you'd like this. Wow, it's a workout top! Awesome! This should really help me highlight my doubts. <laughs> it's so small! Thanks. This looks great. You really know my style, Kablang. It's so... It doesn't fit him at all. <laughs> He's too swole for it. I knew it. I was like, this is going to look really tidy on him. I was like, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm wearing one too, so now we're like brothers. We are like workout brothers, dude. We are just working out together. Mine's pink, though. He looks good in green. What else is going on around my town? Also, I wanted to set up a plot today. I need to drop this barbell off at my gym. And then see if I can run a villager or two from the, uh, the Mystery Islands. Oh, red barbell this time. Mm. Would have been cooler if it was blue, but you, you know what? Thank you. It's at least it's something, you know, it's something different. There, perfect. It'll go right there. This is Bam's gym. This is this is the gym for Bam. Bam lives right over here. Also, there's a lot of buried stuff in my town lately. I invited Norix to my town and then he like he disappeared and I think he ran around burying shit everywhere, and I don't know what he buried. Let's go visit Bud. Oh, okay, yeah. Bud's, um... Is Bud home? Bud's not even home. Okay, well, let's go find him. He, he buried sky eggs, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm, I have a feeling he buried eggs everywhere. Oh, my God. Norix. This isn't funny. He did. He buried sky Why? eggs. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, look, a fossil. Maybe Bud's out jogging somewhere. I like Bud. He reminds me of Funky Kong. I'm really glad I got him. His house is all like surfer stuff, too. It's great. I feel like he shouldn't have like a Patrick Warburton voice, but more like a Funky Kong voice. Funky Kong ASMR. Hey, dude. Hey, Desi, I know the mail's upsetting you, but I'm just gonna send you one thing. All right, you may send me one thing. One thing. Just please space out your mails because uh, it seems like the more I play with people, the more often I get mail now from lots of people, and uh, I don't want it to be 
a regular thing where I come into the stream and then have like 50 things in my mail. That That is a little bit too much. I guess I'll have a really cheap money tree today. I was the original male funny guy anyways. You were, T-Man, that's right. You would send bam death threats in the mail. That was, that was so funny, dude. That was so funny, dude. I laughed every time. He would do it in the form of poetry. <laughs> he sent me haikus. About how much he wanted to kill Bam. I wasn't sending death threats. I was predicting the future with haikus. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it didn't come true. And it won't come true. I won't let it. D Chunk and friends, thank you for the 13 months. I had to cut out, off all my subs, but I've still got a Prime sub to use. Hope you don't get sucked into Animal Crossing too hard tonight. Well, first of all, um, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you had to cut off all your subs, but I totally get that. I'm very appreciative that you chose me, of all people, for your Prime sub. That's very nice of you. Seriously, I hope you're doing well. And don't worry, we're going to be playing some Resident Evil 3 later. I just wanted to check in all my stuff, but seriously, I hope you're doing well, the chunk. Thank you. That means a lot. It's so good to be out here in the fresh air. Chat with me. What is that shirt you're wearing? It's very cute. I hear you were seen shaking trees all around here yesterday. Were you shaking out apples? Oh no, I was farming fruit. Or turnips. Well, I hope you left a few for the rest of us. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Oof. I- I didn't. That- that did not occur to me. Well, it's not like they even, like, eat the fruit. I'm like the only guy on this damn island who even does anything with the fruit. You can't hold that over my head. I've I ain't seen one villager eat a piece of fruit. Once. Desert hit her with a shovel. What? What is wrong with you? Why would you say that? Don't be mean to Midge. Everything. But, but she's so nice. Midge is great. She's very cute. I like her. Sometimes she likes to look at bugs and flowers. It's very cute. I haven't seen her sing yet, but I bet she would be very cute if she sang. Norix. Why did you do this? Why did he... Why did he do that? Oh, what is this? Oh, cool. Okay, well, I like that. I, I think Norix left that one. Fuck off! Oh, there goes my shovel. What is wrong with the people you play this game with? I am friends with some very, very strange people, but it's okay, because I'm very strange myself, so... It all works out, and it, it's like, it's within balance. It's all good. Huh? Who's talking to me? Hi. Glad I caught you. I got a masquerade mask that I didn't really need. I couldn't, she didn't want to talk over the fence. She wanted to talk face to face. This isn't weird, is it? I mean, you could pawn her off on someone else. I just thought you could use it. Oh, wait, I'm not doing voices. This is weird, isn't it? I mean, you could pawn it off on someone else. I just thought you could use it. Sorry. Sometimes I actually, I'm just not in the mood to do voices. I, I hope you understand. Well, that was nice. Thank you, Diva. Bye. What a lazy streamer. I'm not lazy. I'm not! Winter Titan, thank you for the 22 months. Hey, Desert, 22 months. One day I make a new bit, a bit to rival that of Meme Thief. I'm scared of what that new bit will be because honestly, Winter Titan, I think Meme Thief is probably the top bit you could ever do. 
Winter Titan got David Hayter to call me out over Twitter and call me a meme thief. I don't know how the fuck you top that, but I guess I guess we'll find out. Apparently, Desert. I need the grill for my boomer room. Your boomer room? What is a boomer room? What are you talking about? The football room is now the boomer room. Is football a boomer sport? It's football, fishing, and grilling. I don't think football is exclusive to boomers. Yes, yes, oh very, apparently, yes. Is it? I've never thought of it that way. I thought it like transcended ages. Oh wow, this is like all my money. I mean, yeah, I like it, but it's all my money. Football has big boomer energy. All right, I, I believe you. Now, when you say football, do you mean football or, or like... America football? Because they're two different things I've learned over, over the years. Oh, thanks, Diva. I bought the quill. Oh, there's magazines here. I could buy those, but I need money. Let me in and you get double the bells for it. Okay, we can do this later. I, I really need to get, like, money today, though. I would like to buy a bunch of magazines. Hey, Sphinx, how many magazines do I need to give you to get that manga wallpaper? Because, yeah. I can get you some for yourself and then some for me. It's ten? Okay, well then I guess I'll buy 20. Let me see if I can even, like, manage to do that. I need to get these fossils looked at. This might be quick money. You have six already? Okay, so I can get, like, 14 of them then. And then we can both have anime wall. Magazine is the cheapest item in the catalog. Okay. Desert, why is a weeb wall okay, but squirrel wall is not? Because the implications of your squirrel wall are are very... They cross the line. It just does. Oh, okay. These are, these are for selling. Desert, why are you mean to Nary? He sets himself up for this! Do you prefer my new Pagona wall, Desert? What do you mean, Pagona wall? Why does Desert have a stovepipe on his head? That is a samurai top knot. And it's, a, it's, it's like, it's like noble. What are you talking about? It is not a chimney. It is not a snorkel. I- I am the Shonen Gate! Or whatever the fuck it was called. What was that, like... What was that, like, order of samurais that were hired? In feudal Japan? The Shonen Gate, right? I think? Hokage. It's not Hokage! No, those are Ronins. What was the Shonen Gate, then? Shogunate. Right. Shogunate is what I'm thinking of. Shonen Gate, yeah, it's for Shonen Jump, right? I'm I'm stupid. I'm very dumb. That was the government. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna learn today. We're learning about government today. So, the show, the Shogun Gate, the Shogunate, not the Shonen Gate, <laughs> was the government, and the Ronin were mercenaries, and the Shogunate was like the military. Okay. Well, I'm like a Ronin. Yeah. I wish I could buy multiples. Ronin were just samurai without masters. So like me, I don't have a master, and I'm a samurai. I'm really good at like those arcade sword games where you have to like hold the stick like a Wiimote and then slash stuff. I'm like the best at those. So I'm basically a samurai in real life. I've also had a Boken. 
when I was growing up, and I would use it to, like, smack trees because, I don't know, I wanted to see if I could chop them in half. I never got to do that, and my boken broke, and my parents never bought me another one, but I wound up putting down the sword after the first one broke because I just, I don't know, I realized I might become too powerful, and I didn't want to hurt nobody. I need to buy, like, how many of these fucking things? Fourteen of these. It really requires that many, Sphinx? Holy shit. Okay, well, I, I need ten more. Barbecue. Remember the Subway Samurai. I do remember the Subway Samurai. He was really good at, like, doing that whole, like, fancy sword sheath trick. That's five. That's six. Uh, seven. This will be eight. I haven't seen gold in like a fucking week. I haven't really either. The egg spawns are really screwing up the ability to get gold right now. This is nine. This will be ten. Almost there. Neri posted a link to his Pagona room. I, I honestly am scared to see it. I don't want to look at it. Because I don't want to I don't want to enable him further. The more we like enable Neri, the worse this is going to get. I think that was like twelve. Thirteen. It's too late for that dude. You, you know what? You're right. It is too late. And this is 14. Does it? You told me to get rid of the squirrel room. You don't have to do anything I tell you to do. You realize. I want this chair. This is a good chair for out, outdoor grilling. Make, make some hot dogs. And what walls do you have today? Retro flower print wall. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. The floors kind of suck, though. I have an extra copy of the manga wall. Do you want it? I was going to make um, a manga wall with Sphinx. I was going to send him 14 magazines, which I just bought, so he could make one for himself and one for me. But I appreciate the offer. All right, this is T-Man. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Huh? Mental Gear Solid? Eh? Cherry Blossom Flooring. Oh, I can make this! This is the pink floor, right? This is- this looks really nice. It's cool that, like, the Cherry Blossom Flooring stuff and, like, all the other Cherry Blossom stuff are available right now, but it really sucks that the Easter event is also making it harder to get anything with the Cherry Blossom theme. And it's gonna go away before the Easter event's over, apparently. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. That looks nice. Actually, wait a minute. You know what? I'm actually gonna put this in this room. Which song is this? Your house is cool, Desert. Well, thank you. Wait, the cherry blossoms are all April? I thought they were only for the, like, beginning of April. Eh, uh, not here. Not in this room. Place horizontally. I bought a mixing table, but it doesn't do anything to my disappointment. The blossoms are only till the 10th. Yeah, that's what I read. They're in normal balloons and it isn't affected by eggs. Why must you disrespect Cherry so? What do you mean? Oh, by putting her picture behind the trash? I didn't know where else to put it. It just looked right there. Actually, that looks really pretty. I like that. That looks great. 
I have the diner wall. Let me see what this looks like on this wall. Nah, I want the diner wall back. I'll put this away for now. Lawn chair. Okay, I'm gonna put these magazines away. I'll catch you in a little bit, Sphinx. Maybe, like, tonight or tomorrow, whenever you're free, and we can do, like, some magazine swapping. Yeah, okay. Cool. Does it? I have a wrestling wallpaper if you want it. What is the wrestling wallpaper? What does that do? Is it just, like, cutouts of people? Around the ring? Put that in storage. Uh, put this in storage. Okay, I want to go to a mystery island. So... Put that in storage, too. I'll put a barbecue in, long, in a lawn chair outside. I won't need this at the Mystery Island. I probably will need the Iron Nugget, though. Don't think I'll need stone. I might as well keep eggs on me. Or, or at least water eggs, because... The others are going to show up no matter what. Earth egg. Earth and water egg, actually. I don't think petals show up on islands. And stone eggs will definitely show up on the island, so I might as well take them. Customize your tools before they go to refresh their durability. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, I don't really think it's too hard to refresh the tools that I'm going to be needing on an island. Even if they do wind up breaking. It's really easy to just like... For, it's really just fishing rod and net. And like shovel. And the shovel lasts a really long damn time. I've had very few of them break so far. Oh, I have another one on hand. Cool. I guess I could refresh them. I do need to make... Wow, I have a lot of slingshots. That's because I keep fucking making new ones. Akara, thank you very much for the 11 months. Hey, Desi, hope you're doing well. I am doing well. How are you doing? Let's see. Um, I need to make... I have a shovel, I have a net, I have a fishing rod. That's all I really need. Don't need anything else. Are you going to go, what are you going to go island hopping for? I want to get a new villager. I need to talk to Tom Nook for... Look at him go. Yeah, work it! He's being healthy. Desert, he has fleas? What? Oh my god, I know he doesn't take baths awesome and he loves the stink, but he's got fucking fleas? Bam! Dude, you, dude, you have fleas! Weird, why do I suddenly feel itchy all over? No more? No more? What's up, Itchik? Itchik? How was your Happy Home Academy score? Mine, um, well, there wasn't... There weren't any touchdowns, that's for sure. Plus, I never even asked how many crunches I can do. Bam, your house is still like a DIY, DIY house. You need to, like, fix that. Got it! Sorry. Had to do it. Yes! I caught a flea. The curse is lifted. Oh, there was a flea on me? Hey, it was getting a free ride. Not cool, Kablang. Well, thanks for helping me get rid of that free flea loader. Uh, free, free loader. You're welcome, dude. <laughs> Is he gonna sing? He's dance... Or is that, like, some kind of kickboxing exercise? 
I guess that was kickboxing. It was cardio. He's jazzercising. Oh. Cardboard box. Yes, I will claim. Love that shit. That's it. I love your flag. Thank you. Let's see. Talk about infrastructure, right? Does Bam actually sing? I don't know. I've only ever seen Diva sing. I think... I think Jocks sing. Only a couple different personalities I, uh, sing, I think. Um, I don't think Lazy Villagers sing. Jocks do sing. They will all sing. <laughs> they all sing. Oh. Let's sell some land. Lazy do sing? Oh, okay. Ah, so you'll help prep some land for a future home. Excellent. I do have to charge a small fee of 10,000 bells, but if someone moves... Oh, I don't... Oh, fuck. I don't have that. Damn it! I gotta make... I gotta make money really quick. Fuck! Uh, how would I do this? Oh boy, I've got, I've got a lot of miles, but I need money. I spent all my money on, on, uh, torn ops. No money, only egg. You could get a bell voucher. I feel like bell vouchers aren't worth it. Sell turnips and manga. Well, I want to sell the turnips when, like... There's, there's profits to be made. If I sell them now, I can't even sell them today. They said they don't buy them on Sunday. Maybe I can get, like, shells. I'll comb the beach for shells. Egg recipes are, like, 4K bells. Yeah, but then if I don't get all the egg recipes, I don't get the super special awesome recipe that at the end of the event, which I'm sure is totally worth it. It's definitely worth all this. Trust me. I bet you it is so worth it. It's a wand. What do you mean it's a wand? Did you just say super special awesome? Yeah. All egg recipes have the same value. They are worth double the value of eggs used to make them. What? Oh, I fucked this up. I fucked this up bad. Wow. N never mind. It was all eggs. This rock is, is stinky. It's 400 bells per egg. Wait, really? Egg recipes sell approximately 400 bells per egg. How much money can you make out of egg? 200 per egg, 400 if you craft them. I'm just... I just hope that, like, I get a good price or, like, return investment on my uh, turnip so I can finally finish this stupid, like, ramp. That's all I really want. I just want the damn ramp, but I still have to spend, like, over a hundred bells to get it. On top of the bells I owe Tom Nook for my house! Oh, wait, did I do that one? Oh, bye! I guess I should have restored that one. Fuck. Bad start to the stream, bro. Bad start. Oh, boy. You should have customized it. I would love it if this game had fucking meters to show durability because I don't understand why that they didn't do that. If you're going to have a game where durability is like a constant thing, you might as well tell people when their shit is going to break. Breath of the Wild did that. I don't know why this game doesn't. I feel like this is like something unanimously desired by the entire fan base. I don't know anyone who says like, no, fuck you, I don't want a meter. I don't think they want you to care. Well, too bad, I do. 
If you have a number, then the players would change their behavior. I feel like players already are counting anyways, and they're figuring out, like, how many strikes it takes to get to the center of your Tootsie Pop, but, I mean, whatever. I, I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with giving that information to the player. That's active play. I have a feeling they wanted it to feel random, and it sucks. Also, golden tool still break, so what's the fucking point? I'd rather just make the golden dung beetle. I'd rather have a golden bug holding up a golden ball of shit than waste the time to make golden tools in this game. What the fuck are they for then? I don't know. Maybe they'll reveal diamond tools or something, because, you know, just like in Minecraft, gold is never the strongest. A lot of weird choices. I still, obviously, I love this game to bits. Just would like to see some parts of it improved or changed. I can like thing and also feel like parts of it could be better. Let's see. So you're saying you hate the game? Yeah. Game fucking sucks. Gold itself is fragile. Yeah, but in the old games, gold tools were like iconic. They were like amazing. They could do anything. I have a toolbox. Let's see. Craftable. Here we go. Altalair. Altalar. Thank you very much for the uh, 10 month sub. Thank you. No desert. Only 0 out of 10 or 10 out of the, or 10 out of 10. There's no range allowed in between. You joke, but it really do be like that. People really do like hold you to that sort of standard when you criticize something. Even on like a really fair assessment. Either game is good or bad, it can't be nuanced. Well, Desert, then you tell them to fuck off. But I'm not mean! I don't tell people to fuck off! That's rude! Desert, I did nothing but complain about the game while streaming it yesterday. That's not true, Sphinx. I was watching the game yesterday. You were having a good time. You brought up valid <laughs> criticisms that I actually agree with. Throgarth, thank you for the 16. Thank you. My mind is slipping, Desert. I don't know what's real anymore. I'll tell you what's real. Tom Nook is real. And he wants your money. Send him those wacky digits on the back of your mom's credit card. No, just kidding. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. He's not real. They said okay. No, don't! Is Bam real? He's real to me. And that's all that matters. He's real, and so is our friendship. He's my only friend in this fucking awful, cold, dark world. He's the light to my, my nighttime. This, that's a big boy. Who is this? Fish. Oh, oh, oh! Yep. That'll net me some bells. It would be cool if they made like some kind of update to this game where you could ha you could opt to have like a different town for other profiles and stuff like that. I don't know. Also, I heard there was a really weird thing discovered where, like, if you have eight different profiles in your town, 
like locally on your Switch, you're not allowed to go online. You literally can't. The game breaks. I don't understand why, but that that's a thing, apparently. I, I read that. Source, uh, I don't have it on hand, but I was, wa I was reading a thread about that the other night. You can, but you get an error. Right, yeah, it's an error. Yeah, it gives, it gives you an error because your island's full or some bullshit. It doesn't know how to handle it? It's if eight people are spawned in at once. I don't know if it's when the eight people are spawned in. I thought it was just like they just had eight people living on their island. It's Is it eight residents or eight people spawned in? Eight residents. Like, eight player character residents from eight different profiles on the same switch on the same island which seems like a really weird thing to overlook and i don't understand can someone like verify what i'm talking about because like it's hard for me to do that over a stream but i'm pretty sure i'm i'm stating this correctly Why would that break the online if you're the only person actively on the island? Out of all those profiles, only one of you is active, so why is that? That's weird. Why are eight people sharing a Switch? I don't know. I mean, when I lived with roommates, we had lots of profiles on our Xbox. I used to live with like four different people, and we had... We had, we had profiles for our friends, profiles for each other. People can have kids, families. I mean, there's, there's lots of ways you can reach that number. Just feel like that's a very odd thing to overlook. If that's real, I obviously, I haven't tested that myself, but if that's an actual glitch. That's not good. You're not finding any reference to this. Oh, maybe it was bullshit. I don't know. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? Has anyone else seen this claim? You saw that too? Okay, so I didn't dream this. Because I also had a really weird dream too that like I don't even remember now without thinking about it. It was something about Animal Crossing. I started dreaming about Animal Crossing. Now I don't remember what happened in my dream. But it didn't seem real. Like things were in my town that definitely shouldn't have been in my town. This game is taking over my, 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 my brain. No, there was no, there was no bam in my dream, unfortunately, or you know what it might have been? I think I was dreaming that, like, there were multiple Tom Nooks or something in my town. It was really weird. I don't know why. Let's see. And I owed all of them money. People are really bad about spreading misinfo about games and claiming it as fact. Yeah, they are. I don't know. I don't want to say, like, what I just told you is fact. I just thought, thought, it was, thought it was a really, really weird claim. About, um, if you have eight profiles in your town, you'll start getting, like, error messages when you try to go online. That's it. That's the, that's it. That's the rumor. Apparently, it's not something that has affected a lot of people, so maybe it's bullshit. Maybe there's something else going on. Are you having nightmares after that surreal entertainment video? Are you talking about the one where, like, Tom Nook is talking through his nose, Sphinx? That was a really funny video. Where did you find that? <laughs> We will buy anything you sell. Thank you. I love how he whispers, thank you. 
the internet. And then it just gets progressively more and more fucked up. That was a really good find. Uh, I think I'll put the house... I have, like, this area kind of, like, made for homes. I'll just uproot some trees, I suppose. Or maybe not even uproot them, just have the house overwrite them. Like, right here would be probably good. You like when he squishes and goes out the back. I like that, too. That looks good. That could work. Desert, you should play Persona 5 Royal. Um, I would love to play that game, but if I stream that game, I feel like Atlas is going to take a baseball bat to my kneecaps. So, unfortunately, I don't know if I... It also, it's like over 100 hours, so... I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I still haven't streamed the original game. They don't enforce that. They will, can confirm. Uh... That's scary. Harris Bo, thank you very much for the 19 months. And uh, Super Fight and Robot, thank you for the 9 months. Thank you for providing a chill place to wait out all these bad times. Also, your villager freaks me out. My villager freaks you out? Why? I I'm gonna put the house here. What's wrong with my villager? There's nothing wrong with this, with my fellow. He looks sinister. I think you're judging him rather harshly. Does it that house isn't aligned with the other house? How will you make paths now? I'll figure it out later. I am just, I am just placing houses down right now in the housing zone. I don't care how they're laid out. It, it just, it, it'll work itself out in the end. Don't, just don't worry about it. Uh, this is going to be a sky egg. Desert, your villager sort of looks like a subway station cryptid. That's very specific. Sure, I'll take it. Desert, put on a real shirt. What do you mean a real shirt? This shirt's as real as any shirt. What makes this shirt a real shirt? Tell me. It's too revealing. What do you mean? It's, it's aerodynamic. It lets me like, you know, be flexible. It's great. This is great workout gear. You guys are- you guys are being really, really mean about my sense of style, and honestly, I'm- I don't appreciate it. I'm not gonna have it. You keep that up! Cruiser for a bruising, bruh. I gotta get these fossils looked at. Please put a hat on, it's cold outside. No, I'm rocking- I'm rocking the samurai hair. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, oh cool! We, we managed to get one. What is it? I'm not sure if I want to play Persona 5 Royal honestly on stream. I mean, it, I'm not saying it's a bad game or anything, I'm just saying like... I just finished a really giant RPG. I think I might want to go for something... A little less intense. I was thinking like beyond Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Probably going for something a little bit more retro in terms of what RPGs I want to play. Retro as in like maybe something around the 2000s. I'm feeling like uh yeah, it was either like, I'm like, I'm kind of split between Paper Mario and like Battle Network. I don't know. It's, 
I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to wind up choosing. Play Vagrant Story. Okay, Sphinx, when did you start talking to Connor? I would like to play Vagrant Story, but I wish I could play it on something that wasn't my PS3. It would be great if they brought it to my PS4 so I can finally, like, retire my PS3 and put it to fucking bed. It's so tired, chat. My PS3 is so fucking tired. It's been running... This is a PS3 launch model PS3 fat. It's been running for almost a decade, if not more. Actually, yeah, a little... 14 years. 14 years. It still kind of works. It only got a yellow light of death once, and I managed to bring it back from death. However, the PS2 M like thing part of it doesn't work anymore. Which sucks. It actually it works, but it's like corrupted. It's weird. I think the GPU is fucked. How will you play Xenogears again? Well, I bought that digitally. It would be nice if they brought that over to uh, modern consoles. Did you name your PS3? Uh, no, I, 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 I've never thought to name my consoles. Does that is that something people do? What's a good name for a console? Kevin. Oh, oh, Kevin? Is that what you would name your PS3? Maybe I'll think about it. Oh, wait. I should donate the flea. Wait, I could have donated the flea, right? Ah, fuck. I gotta do that. I just want to get to a mystery island already. I, I just want... It's always one more thing in this game. Does it? Your PS3 is totally a Craig. What makes it a Craig? It's Bam's flea, so you have to treasure it. I will treasure it by putting it in the museum so that it will live there forever and never be able to die or escape. Once you put something in the museum, it can't possibly despawn. It's put into a strange purgatory that only video games can, like, create. Eek! A flea! What a wretched thing! Allow me to be blunt. The flea is foul. It is also disgusting, repugnant, and vile. Whew, but I digress. This horrid pest sucks the blood of humans and animals. In fact, it is the flea's own saliva that makes us itch. And did you know their legs are so strong, they can jump more than 50 times their body length? So you see, it's all too easy for a flea to jump from you to me. I itch at the very thought. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. When you donate a bug to Blathers, he'd be like, That's disgusting! Give it to me now! Go check out the flea. I'll check it out later. I'm gonna go uh, do island stuff now. So I think I have everything I need. Oh, wait, I need to put my box away, but let me go get the ticket. Did you see Bam? He's Naruto running in the shirt I gave him. He loves it. We're best friends. Does it have you gotten the four box table? Yes, I can make it. I haven't made it, though, but I have I have the recipe. I think I already bought everything from the Nook store, too, today. Did that this morning. So, don't need to do that. Okay, let's go see about getting that villager. Desi, did you get that thing I sent you? Yup, I got all my mail. Thank you, Babot. Also, nice Harvey Birdman reference. Did you get that thing I uh, sent you? Did you? Get that thing that I sent you. That thing. That thing. Okay, let's make sure 
I'm not bringing anything I don't need. I'll keep, uh... Nah, actually, I'm gonna put away all this wood. Crush! Crush? Don't need sky eggs on the island. I think these are, like, the only four types of eggs I'll probably run into there, so I'll just keep those... I should bring, like, a little bit of iron. Actually, wait. Hold on. What tools do I have? Nah, I'm fine. Actually, I don't need to bring iron because I can get some there. I have a fresh shovel. I desperately wish the crafting tables just accessed your house storage. Oh, same. I absolutely wish they would do that. That would be great. I don't know why they don't. Even if you build something in your house... I don't think it accesses it, right? No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's weird. It doesn't make- that don't make no sense. Okay, let's see what villager I can get. I might do this once, I might do this twice. Time for takeoff! Ah. Do we get a reward for guessing the right villager? I'm hoping for Barreled. I would love to have Barreled. Dude looks like Terry from Lisa. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, is this a good island? Hold on. Oh, wait, no, no, this isn't a good island. This is a poop island. There's nothing rare here. Nope. Uh, maybe there's a villager at the top. Oh, wait, this is the island with the rocks at the top. I remember now. Uh, okay, there's the campsite. Who's it gonna be, chat? Who's it gonna be? Ruppy? Yo, who's this? Looking like Goofy! Walker? Ah, there's someone on this island. Oh, you're here visiting too? Hey, I'm Walker. You're Desert from Aki Isle? Neat! I didn't expect to make a friend here. This island is so cool, huh? 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 Yeah, he does look like Goofy. His his catchphrase is "wa." What do you think, chat? I like him. He's a lazy type villager. Simon's a lazy type already, and I already have two jocks. I I don't think I have a cranky villager. He sort of has demon eyes, a little bit. He's a doggo, so he should immediately get in. Yeah, the him being a dog kind of is winning him some points from me. Jocks don't like lazy, I think. Well, that's weird because Bam and Simon were like hanging out a lot last night and having like unique conversations together about Bam's abs. It was really weird. I haven't seen any other villager conversations. That was like the only one I've seen so far. Oh, okay. Hey, Gold. Hi, Gold. Haven't seen you in a million years. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, Desi, and you made him mad. Well, that's because Simon got me really curious because their argument was that Bam was going to throw a party for the whole island because he just, he was working on his eight pack and he was having a reveal party for his eight pack. Because, I, I don't know, I, I guess that's worth throwing a party for. So, I mean, honestly, I've never seen an 8-pack. Sounds weird as shit to me. But hey, I, I, I don't know. I, I was curious about it because I've never seen that before. So, 
Simon was like, hey, what do you think? Should he show us his abs or not? So I said, yeah, show us your abs. But then Bam got very mad and he said, it's not ready yet. It's still only a two pack. Which I giggled because it, that's the name of that, of, of the, uh, the hip hop artist. But no, he was very mad. He was very mad at me after that because I didn't obey his wishes. He said he didn't want to show any everyone yet because he wasn't ready. But I think he forgave me. He seems cool with me now. I just did that rock. I don't know why I'm doing that one again. Nice going. I didn't think he'd get that mad. He got like, he like yelled at me. I've never seen him yell at me before. How does one get an eight pack? I'm so tired of eggs. There was a point where I was like starting to accept the eggs as just a part of my daily life, but I'm kind of like flipping back around to hating them again. It's just, there's, there's just so many. There's just so many. There's too many types. Look at all that. Those could have been iron or gold. Look at that. That's way too many. And they're just, they spawn even more on these islands. It's, it's, it's insane. I don't get why they made them more prevalent on the islands. I mean, we've been over this almost every Animal Crossing stream since the update. I just don't understand that decision. You telling me Zipper went literally all over the planet, found every single island possible, and filled them with eggs. Their water streams, their dirt, their rocks, their trees. He's like, he's like a fucked up version of Santa Claus. That douses the world in perishables. Stinky ass perishables. I bought eggs today. Leonard ate an egg. I talked about that though. This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever, pointing at the stuff saying, that's nature. <laughs> Man, it'd be real neat to live on island like this. Full time, I mean, just living life, pointing at nature. Okay, I like him. Yeah, come to my island, dude. Huh? You live on Aki Isle, right? Is it like this there, too? Whoa, but I want to go. If your island's as cool as you, then I want to go, desert. I'll be waiting for you. That sounds so romantic. By the way, what should I do to move to Aki Isle? So if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Thanks, I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found out what Pasquetti was. So now I have two jocks and two lazy villagers. And there are eight types of villagers in this game. And I can have ten residents. Right? So now I gotta like... I think I need a cranky type... A snooty type. And I'm not sure what else. Because I have lazy jock. Uchi. Is Diva snooty? Diva is Uchi. Uh, smug is Beardo. Beardo is smug, I think. And I guess normal type is Midge. I don't know. Uh, Wendy is like, what is Wendy? Wendy is like, she's very energetic. Preppy? Peppy? 
I don't I don't remember what that one is. Peppy. Egg. Yeah, everyone starts with Uchi and Jock. So yeah, I guess I need Cranky and Cranky and Snooty. It's just Cranky and Snooty. But wait a minute, that's only seven though, right? Then that means I'm missing one more. What is the last type? Are you trying to get one of each? It would be cool to have one of each to have like the maximum amount of like unique interactions. Normal? Oh, well then I have normal. That's um, that's Midge. Then, yeah, I guess I only need Cranky and Snooty. I have two fishing rods. I didn't realize that. I tend to make fishing rods when I don't need them in this game, I notice. Ah, this island kind of is... is blech. But I guess I'll make it work with what it can give me. I need to fish off the pier more. Oh, wait, I shit. I should have brought bait. God damn it. I didn't bring any bait with me, and I have some. So if you have two jocks, do they, like, hang out together and do, like, jock stuff? Bait is so good if you get one of these four-plus size fish islands. Yeah, you're right. I guess that also would affect the ocean spawns, too. They just do jock things. Yes, and smug. Jocks sometimes fight because they compete a lot. Oh, I didn't realize that. That makes sense. I hope Bud and Bam don't fight. I didn't even checked up on Bud. I couldn't, I couldn't find him today. Bud's always up to something, it seems. He's never around. Bam is going to go get beat up. I think in a fight, Bam could beat Bud. But I don't want them to fight. I think Bam's stronger. He just looks smaller, but honestly, he, he has increased dexterity, which is better than strength. With his greater speed, he is sure to win. Bud has tiger claws, though. Okay, well, Bam has horns that he can use to impale you. He will just grab his horns. I'd like to see him try. I don't think he can do it. First of all, Bud's a lion. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Bam has an eight-pack. What does Bud have? Nothing. He's got like a beer gut. Kiwi B, thank you for the 25 months. That's very nice of you. This is a this is a bass. Oh wait, no, it's a snapper. Does it it isn't ready yet, he told you. Well maybe it's ready now. I wouldn't fuck with someone who had an 8-pack. I would be very fearful of them. I wouldn't want to piss them off. I would think that not only do they have an 8-pack, but if someone is that determined to get that swole, they probably have, like... Like... Not just triceps, but quadceps. And, like... Uh... Septceps. On their arms. They got more muscles... Than the average body has room for. Oxeps and forceps. They have sepsis? No, they don't have sepsis. No. Desert quadriceps or something else entirely. Right, but they would have them on their arms. I guess I'm good on this island. I don't really feel the need to stay here. <laughs> this island sucked. There's literally nothing here. <laughs> hey, let's go. Muscles on their muscles. They would have legs on their arms. Yes. Hey, chat. 
I got a riddle for you. What has a bottom on its top? You, 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 no, that, it, the answer is not you, me, no, Peter Griffin, no, Butthead, no, Pelican, no, your villager, no, a hat, no, an upside down cake, no. Bam, and Norix, no! What the fuck, no! The answer is a leg! A leg has a bottom on its top. You fools. God damn. I learned that from Dragon Ball GT today. I don't get it. Your leg, the top of your leg is your butt. That was actually a good one. I was actually a little bit impressed. It was a good riddle. Goku said the answer was Krillin. He, he got it wrong. You said you weren't going to watch, GT. Well, I, I guess... I guess the... Uh, I started. I don't know why. I'm already up to the baby uh, Vegeta saga. I, it's so weird that there's a villain in GT called Baby Vegeta. Oh, vest with binoculars. Wait a minute, that's cool. Wait, did I not do this today? Oh, maybe I didn't do this today. GT has some okay stuff. It's just most of its story is... Really weird, because a lot of the characters in it don't act like themselves in a lot of ways. Boo is, like, really smart and, like, like wise suddenly for no good reason in that show. Goku can't seem to do anything that he used to be able to do, no problem. But they kind of, like, say, like, that's because he's in a kid's body and it's weird. He's not used to being in that body. That one I kind of get, but then, like... Trunks is... Way weaker than he ever was. I, I don't know what the hell happened with his character. It, th there's no real reason that Trunks is the way he is in that show. Goten does absolutely fucking nothing. Vegeta is... He's like a... He's like a... Aging man. It's really strange. Everyone got super nerfed in that show, and, like... It's just, it's really sudden. I don't like it. We are all aging men. But yeah, but the thing about, like, Saiyans is that they don't age. That's, like, canon. They don't, they, like, they stay young their entire lives until, like, they're about to die. Then they get old. You'd age if you were married to Bulma, too. She's not that bad! I like Bulma. She's a good character. Sometimes. I mean... If there's any unlikable character in, in any of Dragon Ball, it's Chi-Chi. I really don't like... Why did they make her so unlikable in Z? She went from, like, a cool character in DB to, like, this really, really over-the-top, like, just annoying character that was just constantly in denial of all the events going on around them. It didn't make any sense. It was really sudden and annoying. I, she was way better in Dragon Ball when she actually had, like, a personality. I don't know what else to do right now. I guess I'll sell this shit. Desert, do you want some eggs? 
No, I'm good on eggs. Occasionally they'll have Chi Chi fight stuff, but like, I kind of wish they had never like, put her, her into the role they did for like 99% of Z. That shit just was like really lame. Yeah, remember when she used to actually fight stuff? And was like a competent martial artist? Sometimes in the movies, in the filler, she'll do it. And I'd be like, oh, hey, she can still do that. But then it goes right back to like this really out of character, character type for, I don't know what the hell happened with her. Why was Chi-Chi against Gohan fighting, but was totally okay for Goten to do it? That also bothers me. I don't understand that one. Like, she would be totally against Gohan going into tournaments and stuff, but then when Goten wanted to go into a tournament, she was like, oh, okay, go, go, Goten. Really weird writing for her. I don't know, man. I guess maybe Gohan was her first kid, and I guess she's she had a set idea for what he want she wanted him to be. Maybe because at that point she gave up trying to stop him. Maybe. I remember also being kind of upset that Ox King doesn't do anything in Z. Ox King goes from, like, this dude who could, like, actually punch through a tank and take on entire armies by himself to, like, bumbling grandpa, can't do anything. And is, like, completely useless. I, I don't understand why they went that way. He got smaller, too. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's because he's old and, like... That happens when you get older. You kind of, you do kind of shrink. But then Roshi's old as fuck and he keeps up with goddamn Jiren. So what the fuck? Gohan, was, uh, Goku's grandpa Gohan was like older than all of them combined. And he still kicked ass. Isn't Roshi immortal, though? He drank from the Fountain of Youth. So, he's hundreds of years old. But essentially, yes. Oh, Toto Doll Racer, thank you for the, uh, the 33 months, man! It's a tier 3. Jeez, dude, how are you doing? Hey, Desert, are you having fun with Animal Crossing? Yeah, I am! Thank you. How are you doing? Are you playing Animal Crossing? It's good to see ya. Oh, I, already, I keep hitting this rock. And Ruined, how are you doing, dude? Thank you for the 22 months, man. I do appreciate that a lot. It's good to see both of you guys. Desert, it's anime, it's not real. I know, it's just... Sometimes Dragon Ball does really weird things with its characters I don't understand. I still love that, like, entire series to bits, but... I guess... This is just me, like, criticizing very specific parts of it. But hey, it's like kind of like being taken over by a new artist. So, I mean, maybe the story will be a bit better now. Who knows? No, I still need to watch Brawly Movie. I will watch it. Hi, it's me, Simon. Yeah, I know. I want to chat. Akihaya is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for a sea monster to attack. I will watch the Broly movie. I just wanted to, like, I don't know, watch most of the series again before I did that. The new one, not the old one. I don't like the old one very much. It kind of was, like, one of the weirder movies I didn't like. Everyone, I, everyone growing up told me how awesome that movie was, and then... I just found it 
I found Brawly's character super lacking. He has one of the dumbest weaknesses I've ever heard of in anything. And it felt like their victory in the fight was so fucking forced and out of nowhere. Just really didn't like it. And then we had Brawly Returns when he becomes like revived as some kind of like deity for a village for some dumb reason. And then another one where he comes back as a slime like monster. Bio Brawly. That was another one. He came back three times. Well, no, he had three movies. Four, actually, if you count the super one. But does it? He's so strong. What about Oolong? Oolong was cool. He doesn't do anything in, Dr in Dragon Ball Z Super or GT, though. I kind of miss the characters that had, like, weird powers. You're talking about Z's, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about Z's, not, not Super's. That's it. I thought that girl was for me. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Yo, Mass Man 2, thank you for the 10, 11 months. Hi, DiGiorno. Hope you're doing well during these times. Haven't been able to tune in that much recently, but I'm glad to still support you. Remember to respect your bugs, unlike that fraud blathers. I do support my bugs. I give them to Simon sometimes, because he likes bugs. But thank you very much. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. Yeah, launch totally disappeared. Launch is only in filler, I've noticed in Dragon Ball Z. She's not in any of the canon moments, from what I understand. Wait, was there... Oh, there's clay there. She's barely in the filler. I mean, it's near the start. She's in a couple scenes of the filler. And then she's also at the very end. In the, um, the big, like, everyone send your energy to Goku scene against Majin Buu. She apparently was dating Tien. No, she was. Yeah, that was canon. Ugh, I can't catch anything. That's because someone filled our pristine waters full of eggs, bam! I stole that from Twitter. Wasn't that Send Your Energy scene the launch with launch anime original? Yeah, it was... They, I think they did add her in for the anime. They added in a lot of old characters that hadn't been in the show for that scene. Aider came back in that scene, which I liked a lot because I like Aider. He's a friendly Frankenstein. A uh, bunch of other characters. Um, what was that tribe that lived beneath um, Corrin's tower? They came back. Devil Guy came back for that scene. A lot of really good characters from the, the first series. Dragon Ball was just a damn good, like, adventure anime, dude. I do recommend it. Didn't Krillin date a Bulma clone and then name his kid after her? Yes, but that was filler. That was Marin. He dated a girl named Marin in, in Garlic Jr.'s uh, arc, which didn't actually happen in the show. Well, it happened in the show, but it didn't actually happen in the manga. And later on, Krillin's daughter is named Marin. But you gotta keep in mind, Marin never actually existed. Which is weird. DBZ is so fucking weird about that. Oh, hey, remember this character? They didn't actually exist. It does that a lot. You're reading the Dragon Ball manga and it's way hornier than you expected. It does have a lot of sex jokes in it. That is true. I'm I'm more there for like the cool adventure though. Most of those scenes are rather eye rolling. They're like haha -ha, booby haha. -ha. I just like the fights and the cool setting.
That's because Toriyama listened to fans when he had writer's block and just did a lot of fan service. I don't doubt that. Are you on Super now, or are you still on Z? I'm watching GT right now. I don't think I'm going to rewatch all of Super, just because I only finished that, like, probably two years ago. And I feel no need to refresh myself. I'll watch the movies, but that's about it. If anything, I'm just going to watch the Baby Saga in GT and then probably not even give a shit about Omega Shenron. Because that arc stank. I did not like that one. That is a character I feel like just... is lame. As an end boss for, like, the entire series. Omega Shenron is nothing special. Oh, oh, Super 17 was ridiculous. That's a really boring character. And is completely nonsensical. Laura Fauna, thank you for the bits. That's very kind of you. Desert, you got me to buy Xeno Gears and Skies of Arcadia. Just want to say thanks for being a good lizard. Well, I'm glad I introduced you to those games. They're very fucking good. Those are easily two of my favorite RPGs of all time. I hope you really enjoy them. How many Shenrons are there in Dragon Ball? Uh, there's regular Shenron, Dark Shenron, which is the red version that appears in GT, Omega Shenron, which is the evil version that wants to destroy everything and corrupt it with evil. That's also in GT. Um... Dende Shenron, which is not the original Shenron, but the version Dende made, which is more powerful than the original Shenron. Then there's Paranga, who is not Shenron, but Dende Shenron is based on him. Uh, trying to think if there's any more. Oh, right. And then there's the Super Shenron thing where like it comes from the Dragon Balls in the Super series that are planet sized. What about the Shenron with the big, goofy eyes? With the big, goofy eyes? I don't remember them. Isn't there a golden Shenron? Right, that's the super one. The one who smokes. Yeah, that that's Omega Shenron. Before he, like, splits into a bunch of different little minions or something. Shenron be like, haha, bro, I'm just gonna revive people infinitely now. Well, actually, actually, he can't do that. Only Paranga can do that. Actually. Dende states that Shenron for Earth can't revive people multiple times because of some really lame power restrictions since he's not based on the original, like, Paranga... Since he's only based on the original Paranga model, but he's not, like, the original or something. For some reason, Paranga can break all the fucking rules. Except it ends up happening anyways. Oh, it does! They contradict themselves constantly when it comes to what Shenron can and can't do. What happened to Yajirobe? He just hangs out in Korin's tower. They show him sometimes. I did this rock already, right? I think. He lives in Korin's tower and eats beans. That's all he does now. Oh, no, I didn't. Two gold today. Nice. They made the wish-granting MacGuffin way too easy to get in DBZ. I liked how Dragon Ball handled it more. There was a point in Dragon Ball where the Dragon Balls were, like, explained as a means to motivate mankind to do great things. 
and to be like heroic and I guess to inspire them to be like a better people or something like that. It was it was like to help them like grow. But then it turned out only evil people ever wound up using the Dragon Balls. So then Kami like winds up taking them away. <laughs> He do give them back, though, eventually. But then that never happens again. In Dragon Ball, they seem to be in a lot of places that need a hero. That world's very weird and chaotic, I'll tell you that. There's, like, desert, like, biker gangs with magic powers in that in that universe there's like giant dinosaurs there's dinosaur people there's robots there's crazy armies with like future tech hover cars Beep. baby gameras yeah there there's that there's a there's a rabbit man who can turn you into a rabbit like uh, uh, not a rabbit a carrot there's a devil man who can make your heart explode if you have any evil in your heart whatsoever if you've ever been greedy, if you've ever, like, thought ill of someone, he can just kill you on the spot. There was a mummy. So he can kill anyone. He's considered the most powerful person in the game, in the, in the, game, in the universe. Because he can just literally kill whoever is evil. There's actually a funny little crossover thing in the video games where he fights Frieza when Frieza invades Earth and kills him because Frieza's obviously evil and his devil might beam can just instantly make his heart explode. And I think that's so fucking funny that they never thought of doing that in the actual anime, probably because he's so overpowered. I think that was, um... That was one of the Budokai games, right? It was one it was one of the ones that had like the what if scenarios. Where like Goku fused with Hercule in the Majin Buu fight. That was Tenkaichi 3. That game's like really hailed as one of the best DBZ games. I might want to pick that up. Also shining um Shing Lover. Thank you very much for the 2 months. I appreciate that. Thank you. You mean Mr. Satan, right? Yeah. Fusion, while very cool, also became a MacGuffin. Fusion was an interesting idea, I feel like, to make new characters. And kind of, like, improvise on the whole, like, new form thing. Like, it's not just a new form, it's also a new character. But then it started getting really, like, overdone. I think Gotenks was really cool. I think Vegito was really cool. Gogito was really cool, but then, like... Then it started to get, like, into, like, weird territory. With, like, Kabito Kai. Which seems rather pointless. And was pointless. Um... Piccolo fusing with all the Namekians was, was neat. Khalifa. Yeah, Khalifa. I I liked I liked um Kale. And uh What was her, what was the other one's name? Khalifa, right? And they fused to make Kefla. I kind of didn't like how those characters just like instantly shot up to be super powerful. I thought they were going to develop them more. Yeah, it was cool when the weaker characters could fuse, but then, like, it just started to become, like, now all the more powerful characters are fusing. I don't know, man. Hey, I wanted you to have this here color block dress shirt. Kefla and Fighter Z is super fun. That's cool. I would have liked Kefla probably more if they had built up to it more naturally. Instead of just instantly giving her, like, one of the biggest boosts in the series. Like, instantly. It just felt very forced to me. I don't know why. 
I guess because it was. I thought it was awesome, and I think you're awesome, so it seemed like a real perfect symbol of buddy ship. Yeah, just off, right off the bat. Super Saiyan 3 level of power. Like, what? You're kidding. Kale being a brawly, like, of the Universe 6 was kind of neat. I liked that idea. Like, I love their individual characters. I think they're awesome. I just thought the fusion came way too soon. Had they, like, done it maybe, like, later on in this series, maybe not, like, almost immediately after we got to know them and their dynamics, it would have been a lot more effective, I feel like. I'm gonna sell some shit again. I'm just going back and forth in this game, but I guess that's what it is. Yeah, Tournament of Power felt like a clusterfuck to me, too. I, I did not enjoy that. Part of the reason why I don't want to rewatch Super is because of that. It would be cool to see, like, more Bardock and Gene. I don't know how they could pull that off, but it would be nice to see them more. I think they were in the movie, the most recent one, right? Well, they are canonically dead, but then, like, wouldn't they also be in other worlds? So why haven't we seen them there? And whatever happened to, um, Deborah? Whatever happened to Deborah? He's just chilling in, in, in the other world, right? You would love to see more Bardock and Gino. <laughs> yeah. Gino was actually, he was in an episode of Dragon Ball, but it was filler. Debra? Yeah, Debra. Debra the Devil King. Debora is now a good guy, and I wish they would have explored him more. I know he appeared in the future Trunks arc in Super. And he wound up killing, um... He wound up killing, um, Supreme Kai. Oh shit, this was a good one. Okay. But then Trunks just, like, gets rid of him, and then that's it. Wait a minute, actually, wait! Didn't they say Deborah was related to, um... That new character they keep putting in the video games? Toa, or Mira. Yeah, like, they're- they're related now, or something. Deborah is Toa's brother. Well, then maybe they will bring back Deborah at some point. I don't know, man. That would be cool. He has really neat powers, because he, like, he doesn't have traditional powers. He can spit on people and turn them into stone. Which is, like, something that just is, like, an instant kill. Evil Blast. Yeah, he has a lot of cool abilities. And his fight with Gohan in, um, in the Boo Saga was actually, like, super neat. But then, they just don't do anything with him anymore after that. Which kind of sucked. G Desi, did you know Gino showed up in the Transformers comics? Did he really? That's fucking awesome. I believe you. He got eaten by Boo and then became good. What I didn't understand is why didn't Boo absorb him? Who would, like, eat people sometimes, and then they would be absorbed, but then other times they would just die? It never made sense to me how, like... Deborah, for example, wasn't absorbed, but just died. I guess because he decides? Absorption is different from eating. I mean, he just turns him into candy and eats him, and that's what he did to Deborah. He tried to do that to Vegito, but then Vegito wound up being the shit out of him as the chocolate ball. I feel like that's going to be the new character for Fighter Z. That's definitely going to be one of them. Vegito chocolate, chocolate ball form. It's the only Goku they haven't added. A jawbreaker. I'm not just any candy. I'm a jawbreaker. The strongest kind of candy there is. Jawbreaker Vegito. 
Yes, Boo turns people into food. That's his power. He also at one point winds up turning himself into food. And then he eats himself because he split into two. And then his evil half won. His evil half eats him. And then that evil half becomes Super Boo. Which I don't understand. How come when Boo separated... How come when Boo separated himself, evil and good, he w his evil side wasn't just Kid Boo? Because when they remove the good Boo from Super Boo, he devolves into Kid Boo. But wouldn't he have been Kid Boo at the start? Because he wasn't pure? Evil Boo was pure. He was, he, he, hadn't, he hadn't absorbed anyone. Because Kid Boo ain't pure evil. No, he is pure evil. He's the embodiment of all evil in the universe. He's like a weird chaos elemental. Why are you trying to rationalize the Boo Sog when you know damn well it's not possible? Because this has always been on my mind for years. Like, that one bit of the Boo Saga where, where Majin Boo splits into two. Good Boo and Bad Boo. Sporky the Fork, thank you for the 11 months. It's very kind of you. Intinted Palette, thank you for the 27 months, too. I appreciate it. Kane, thank you for the bits. I've seen a lot of FF7R posts on Twitter. I know. I'm avoiding it. I've been filtering that shit. I'm gonna wake my ass up early as fuck Friday morning to try and get my copy. Because I think my store is still gonna, like, give them out. Catch that egg, Desi. I am. Maybe he did absorb someone off screen. All Evil Boo ever did was, like... He killed two people. Right? He he kills um the sniper dude who shot B, the puppy. He blasts his face off. And then he turns himself into jelly and like well he shoots himself inside of another dude's mouth until his stomach bursts. Evil Boo was fucked up. And he's laughing maniacally the whole time while he's doing that. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, Evil Boo was weird. Oh, what's up, Bam? Hi. Come on, Cat. Thank you for the uh, eight month sub. Thank you very much. This is my favorite kind of conversation on the stream. Dragon Ball conversation. Give it all you got. You want reactions to cheer folks on? You got it. I love this one because encouraging your buddies is awesome. Watch. Flex those muscles! Thank you, Bam. We are wearing the same shirt, you and I. Because we are bros. Desert, what is he wearing? A workout shirt. Super Boo killed everyone on Earth. Evil Grey Boo killed no one. No, he killed two people. Evil Grey Boo killed two people, I named them. The sniper dude and the other guy that he was with. And then he goes and turns Good Boo into candy, but then can't kill Mr. Satan because Good Boo keeps holding him back in his brain. No, that was Super Boo. Oh, right! Well, no, Evil Boo kills the sniper dude, then Super Boo kills the... Yeah, you're... Technically, you are right. Evil Boo... Kills the sniper, eats good boo, then becomes the goo and shoots himself inside the guy's mouth and expands his stomach until he explodes. No, good boo doesn't kill the sniper. He wants to, but he keeps stopping himself because he, wa he wants to, like, not make Mr. Satan upset. And he starts losing control of himself. Which, it's actually a really sad scene. I actually really like... I like that part of the show because it kind of, like, gives Boo a lot more character than you thought he had. Like, you, you kind of start to understand he's never known friendship before. He never... He, he Everything he's ever known was just, to like, 
go destroy this planet. Go kill this person. Or I'll seal you up away again. Yeah, it was like the first time he ever like actually felt something. When the puppy got shot that he wound up really liking. And then even before that, he vowed to never kill anyone again because Mr. Satan asked him to. He's like, don't kill people anymore. Why do you kill people? And he's like, oh, because Bibbidi told me to. He's like, well, that's bad. He's like, oh, it's bad? Well, then I, I kill people no more. And then he really tries. Yeah, he was like a, he's like a three-year-old with superpowers that never had a friend. He didn't know right from wrong or anything. He's one of the more interesting villains, I find. I just don't like how, like, GT completely changes his character. And then Super kind of put him in the background and never really brought him back, except for, like, a couple scenes. Then teases you that he's going to be in the Tournament of Power, and then says, nope, he's not, actually, because he's too overpowered or some bullshit. And that, so he, we made him go asleep. I guess he comes back in a future arc, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, here's Freeze instead of Boo. Fuck you. Desi, can you make a quick PSA to tell people not to send me or others mail to forward you mail? I don't want to send you memes anymore. I'm sad. I would kindly ask people to not spam other people if they want to send me stuff. In fact, I already get too much stuff as it is, and I'm asking people who already send me stuff to not send me so much stuff. I'm good, guys. I am more than good. I appreciate it so much, but I feel like this is starting to become a bit of a problem. That is affecting more than just myself. You could send each other stuff. I need to get furniture today. Boo is OP, but Golden Frieza is fine. I mean, Boo can literally just turn people into candy. Or eat them. He is a little bit OP in the sense that he has magic powers instead of actual, like, key and physical powers. He also can turn himself into a weapon. Like, he can, like, rip parts of himself off and then use them to, like, bind people. He can do really anything. He's crazy. And he's also inexhaustible. You can't... Boo doesn't run out of energy unless he's, like, fighting himself. That's pretty much it. Doesn't give a fuck about damage. Totally ignores it. If he looks tired, he, all he takes is like five seconds and he's right back to 100%. Androids have infinite stamina too. Right, but do they also have infinite healing? Because Boo does. <laughs> when is the Pickle Boo arc? Boo turns self into Pickle! He called Pickle Boo! And then Boo turned himself into a pickle. I can't do a Mr. Sated. But that's the funniest shit I've ever seen. That was pretty good. Yeah, my throat's really dry right now, so it probably was way worse than it should have been. <laughs> Thank you. You had Mr. Satan's voice towards the end there. Yeah, I, I wound up kind of getting it, but not really. I gotta. I have never practiced that one.
I don't even care about these egg presents. I just want my goddamn furniture from the tray. Uh, that's your surfbot voice. Yeah, but it's also like, it's pretty much Majin Buu. Hi, Simon. Oh, we meet again, Silk. I heard you were shaking all the trees on the island yesterday. Isn't that real dangerous? I tried to make wasp buddies before, and they did not dig me shaking their tree. Silk! Thank you for reminding me about the wasp, Simon. Ah! He knew! I caught a wasp. That's got a sting. He fucking... He knew! Hey! Hey, uh... What's new, Zook? Thank you for reminding me about the wasps. This is for you. Huh? Do I get something? Yeah, you get... You get... Wasp. Whoa, is this really a wasp? Did you catch it yourself? Bro, you saw and clapped me. You, you, you clapped for me. Yes, I caught it myself. You were there. Thanks, I can't wait to introduce her to the other bugs in my house. Well, to the bugs on the floor. The bugs on my walls are being jerks this week. Thanks, does it. Here, some full body tights just for you. He put that nest up there, does it? He was trying to sting you. I think... I don't think he... I don't think he did that. I think this is just a string of coincidences. Oh. He gave me gold tights. Now I'm in a hazmat suit. I could make this look complete. Hold on. I was going to shake some more trees, but let me do this really quick. Get changed. Can the can this mask? Like, hold on a sec. Can this go with um? No, it can't. God damn it! I was hoping that the gas mask could go with that and look like a full, like, face covering thing. What is that suit, Desi? This? This is, um... Full body tights. Why can you change clothes in the freezer? To keep my clothes fresh. Bunny. <laughs> I just love the variety of clothes, man. I just love it. It's so good. That's a good combo. Now I'm prepared for anything. Use the poop hat. I don't want to use the poop hat. Today, I am feeling like being safe. Got my full body suit. I got my gas mask. I got my helmet. We're, we're doing great. Is Bam still Naruto running? Probably. <gasps> no! Wait! Stop shaking the tree, asshole! Oh! Good. Good. Thanks. Good, good work. Shake that tree some more, dude. You've had that happen. Yeah. That's, that sucks when that happens. That's so goddamn unfair. They stung you through the mask. Another one! Not this time. Damn, dude. Give me, give me leaf. Leaf, please. I gotta move this damn tree. Always approach trees from the front so you have the optimal angle to quickly swipe a wasp if it tries to, to bite you. Mm -hmm. 
does it, why did you mail me a picture of Bam? I've never mailed you anything in this game. So therefore, you are lying. And I'm shocked that you would make up rumors about me. To think that we were friends. And you do me dirty like this? No, the wasps sell for a lot. That's true. But what if you're the liar? I would like to see a screenshot. Show me the proof. He can't because it never happened. <gasps> there we go. No, I can. Give me a minute. No, you don't get a minute because you're going to Photoshop something. Do it now. Paper lantern. That looks nice. I gotta get my capture card set up. Literally take a picture with the switch, share button, and tweet it. I will accept nothing else. I'm not putting it on Twitter that I will not accept the authenticity of this picture. You are lying. The verdict is in. You're a dirty little liar. Oh, there it goes. Second uh, furniture. Cool. Office desk. Nice. Okay. I don't know what else I need to do in this game today, so this was a rather... light day. I mean, I got a new villager at least. I guess they'll be here tomorrow. And I got both tree furnitures. I still haven't found Bud. You know what? I haven't found Bud today. I still don't know where the fuck he went. Desert weed your damn island. That's the wilderness zone. It stays weedy. I've explained this every damn stream. Oh, he's home now. Wait, no, he's not. This is, um... This is Beardo's house. Bud's not home. Where is he? Damn, bro. Nice house. There's something different about you today, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Did you get a haircut? Whiskers, I'm just messing with you. I can see that your face has a little disagreement with some wasps. Good talk. How can he see through the mask? Oh my gosh. Enough! Desert help. People are sending me things to send you. This one is metal from T. Okay. Desert, don't read them. Why? Huh? I'm confused. Why do you mean don't read them? I sent them because it was the end of the stream. Oh. Are, are these not safe for stream, Norix? I was hoping you'd read them off stream. Oh, this is a gift from Yaki to you and Bam. Please, Desi, I'm getting so much mail for you. Ah! Ah. Uh, I don't want other people to get burdened with gifts for me. That feels really fucking weird. I, if anything, I just feel bad for Norix, but thank you. I don't like the idea of someone being a middleman for me. That, that's... These, these are cool. But that also feels a bit awkward. It's because you won't let us in. Well... You know, I got my reasons for that. I appreciate the gifts a lot. It's just, I don't know. Well, 
let's not overdo it. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I just feel bad when, like, I don't know, people are setting other people gifts. Some of which have streams of their own to send to me. That that feels really weird, guys. <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm weird. I don't know. Send me the gifts to Desi and I'll keep them, says T-Man. <laughs> T-Man wants all your gifts. Oh, no. Fellas. Okay. Good. Thanks, Sari. So, I'm about to, like, destroy my mailbox. I'm gonna take a baseball bat to it. And there will be no mail ever again. Are you guys saying hi? No? Oh, I almost didn't recognize your swollen face, Desert. Were you stung? I'm so sorry. My face hurts from looking at yours. I hope you can get some medicine for that and start healing up soon. I keep forgetting that I've been stung by a bee. Wait, pick up your mailbox. You can pick it up. Wait, what? Huh. I never knew that. No more mail. No more mail. Mail is gone. So wait. If you don't have a mailbox, what happens to all the mail that people send you? How will you mail order stuff? It gets put in your pocket in the mailbox. It goes to hell. What if I destroy my mailbox? You're going to need it to get important mail. I don't think any mail's important. Honestly, what even are bills? They're just like pieces of paper. They can't actually make you give them money. What are they gonna do? Send me another piece of paper that says, hey, you better send money? And then what? Another one? Ooh, I'm so fucking scared. I might get a paper cut. This goes on the Forbidden Beach. Where no one will ever see it again. Says you're gonna have to come all this way to get your items. I guess I'm gonna. That's the price. That's the price you all paid. Spam in my inbox. What about the items you got from Nook? I guess I'm not buying anything else from Nook. I'm done. I'm done. No more mail. No more. Sounds like you're the one paying for it. I am. Most of the spam is from Norix and Neri. Well, maybe they should think about that. Just a little bit. Desert, are you okay? No! Desert, I said I'd stop. <laughs> You need to think about what you've done. For shame. It's 
Too late to apologize. That was like perfectly timed. I hope you like the skull radio. I mean, they're great gifts. I'm serious, but like they're they're great, but I feel like I've asked several times now for you guys to not blow it up too much. I'm a little bit stuck on this, but I mean... <sighs> I don't want to like get buried in gifts. It just, it doesn't, it's kind of like, it's too much. It's a little too much. Got too much stuff. Please understand, I'm not trying to be like a party pooper, I'm just... I'm uncomfortable by it. Michaelios, thank you very much for those gift subs. It's very kind of you. Thank you. As if there was no gift attached to that letter, it was just proof. I, I know. Uh. Okay, well, I don't know what else I need to do today. kind of like basically this is the end of the stream so uh i don't know thank you guys for hanging out i really do mean that that fucking noise octane thank you for the bits too i'm doing fine i hope you're doing fine too i'm going to switch games now so uh i will be right back <laughs>